Hello everyone, um, today I'm gonna show you how to uh, make a uh, character rig from scratch in Akitsu. Um, and I will be using the character uh, Cyblast uh, that you can find um, on uh, uh, Flipped Normals, Air Station, and, uh, and uh, Gumroad uh, marketplaces. I will link um, everything in the description down below, so be sure to check it out. So, uh, once you will have this file uh, up, you will, you will you'll be able to um, either uh, check how Cyblast looks, like this. Okay, so you can click on every part and start your animation uh, right there. Or um, you'll be able to uh, just pick up the uh, character Cyblast no skeleton file so you'll, you'll be okay to start with this okay so what we have in our scene uh, first of all is uh, the default character node this node will uh, hold um, the joints of your characters uh, as well as the animation uh, which belongs to uh, this guy so i'm gonna rename this uh, as say blast so in case I want to have uh, multiple uh, characters in the same scene, uh, I will be able to identify who is Seablast and who is uh, uh, Maven or uh, whatever. And uh, from there, I will hide um, just the hoverboard since I don't want to, to read this first. So um, to start, um, I will just place a, a root joint okay here because I'm, I'm not sure uh, if I would like to export later um, the character node and the skeleton hierarchy or uh, only the skeleton hierarchy and most of the time I export only the skeleton hierarchy uh, and the mesh of course but uh, skeleton hierarchy and not the, the character node so yeah, and I place it in zero, zero, zero in the center of the world, uh, just to be sure uh, I'm I'm uh, perfectly placed. Okay, um, you want to make sure when you create your rig to uncheck the auto orient uh, and joint creation uh, features, just because uh, when you are making a center uh, spine. Uh, as well as many other joints, you you rather having to um, just uh, keep world coordinates to uh, manage their position in the in the character easily. So if this is checked, uh, uncheck it. Okay. Then um, with the root joint selected, so joint uh, 01 for the moment, uh, I will keep uh, keep on creating joints. Okay, so I will place the pelvis here, then uh, the stomach, the torso, the spine, sorry, and the torso, the neck, and the head. Okay. Um, and if I take a look at the joint in uh, this position, I can see that they are uh, clearly not centered uh, well. So I'm just gonna uh, edit the replacement like so. Okay, and then I will right click on this joint to select this one plus all of uh, its child and on the first field uh, value of the transform window I will um, set uh, their position to zero. This will just bring the x axis which is here to zero for everyone so the, 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 the spine is perfectly centered. Okay then I will just place the head approximately uh, where the, the school um, the school bone should uh, should pivot okay now uh, I will need to uh, reorient my pivots okay so 
to do this, uh, we'll just right click on uh, my uh, pelvis joint and then I will click on this button in the regatelier, the orient joint uh, button. Okay, and it will orient perfectly all of the joint. Sometimes you can see that the green arrow will uh, go uh, backwards. It's just because uh, Akitsu will uh, point this in the positive uh, axis direction of your uh, angle made by this joint, this joint, and this joint for this joint. So here, the positive uh, dire direction goes forward, but there it goes backward there too. So you just need to go in rotate mode. Be sure you are in local uh, transform and check the discrete rotate mode and then just pivot around the, the blue axis. Okay, so now everything should look quite good. Um, I'm just having sh some issues with this one. I don't know why. So I will unparent the pelvis from the first joint. Then um, just reset the rotates around this back. Okay, and um, then we'll try to auto align, but it's it's curious how it um, mess up with the, the position of this one. Maybe this one is not centered pretty well. Yeah, so. Sorry for this. Um, well, yeah, okay. So sometimes Akitsu can fail at um, center uh, centering uh, all of the joints you've selected, like it will center only the first one. And this may bring some issues uh, when you, you do the auto orient. So I just redid the, the, the first step and now it's fine. Okay, there we'll just make sure uh, I'm using the same um, axis direction. Okay, so green goes forward and blue is uh, upwards. And okay. I'm fine. So now uh, I will rename a few of these joints. So root then pelvis, then uh, you can go for stomach or uh, oh, sorry, stomach or uh, spine one, spine two, spine three. But uh, I prefer having uh, clear names. It's just a matter of taste. Um, case, neck, and head. And for this tutorial, I won't go uh, deep into um, the creating a face rig. Uh, we will still uh, be able to have something simple. Uh, like for instance, I will uh, I will create one joint for the headset, one joint for um, the eyes and maybe um, one for the jaw and, and that's it okay and this one will be the jaw the eye and since i have got two eyes i, I will should uh, just choose one side so i will do the left side of the character and their uh, headset okay So just place them roughly. Okay, the jaw should be centered in X value and uh, should rotate from the from the second bone part. Okay.
Okay. Um, now I will add a joint for the, the backpack. So simply click there, center in X axis. And um, I will roughly align this. So if I want to perfectly align my joint, what I can do is create a chain joint for this one, like here. Okay. And then uh, I can auto orient this one like so. So I will have the, the you know the, the the plate of the shield. Um, okay, maybe just turn this. Like so, and I'm fine. Okay, so this one would be um, let's call this shield. Uh, then um, let's create the the arm. So for the arm, I will uh, need to create a clavicle first because it's easier than to move the shoulder uh, correctly if you have uh, one. Um, then I will create the uh, upper arm, the forearm, the wrist, and I will create a temporary joint, uh, just like I did I did for the, the shield, to have the, the orient I, I want. So just uh, repositioning the, the clavicle. Okay, it's roughly at the center of the, the, the chest. Uh, I found that it works the best. Um, for my model, but you you are of course free to do uh, to place this where you want. Okay. Then I will select from the arm and not the clavicle, because you can. I like to keep the clavicle like this. Uh, but you, again, you are free to select this and uh, and uh, orient the from the clavicle. Okay. And I hit that button again. Then I can get rid of the temporary joint I had for the, the wrist. Okay, now I just want to make sure um, axes are good, should be fine. Okay, maybe I want to point towards the, um, the, the, the arm protection here, but maybe it's, hmm, maybe it's bad to do so. Okay. Um, mm. So here, just a uh, quick word on um, how I choose my uh, orient. So imagine that uh, the blue one is uh, when you want to twist uh, your uh, your model so you, you want to point it towards the the next joint most of the time the red axis will be uh, to open or uh, close a articulation okay and uh, the green one will determine uh, the positive axis of this articulation and i try to maintain the same logic uh, for each bend okay so for this one, the positive axis goes there, and uh, the uh, the bend uh, axis, the red one, is there. Same for the wrist. Okay. So now um, I will create my uh, finger joints. So one here, one here, one here. Uh, and of course, um, I will need to create a uh, temporary joint, or maybe later, maybe later, because it, it will be more uh, efficient, you will see. So here, you can decide to create uh, the first phalanxes uh, joints, in case you want to uh, have the ability to perfectly um, 
uh, make your, uh, your hands palm uh, wider or uh, thinner, but uh, I found it more useful to, to just start from this point. Because you can still move this uh, uh, by hand and get the, a closer result. A closer result, so it's, it's fine. Okay. Okay, so now just replace to match a hand uh, palm skill term okay so it's more like this um, this one should be cool So if you take a look at the finger uh, length, um, you can see that the first uh, phalanxes are always uh, the longest ones. It's just, uh, so first it's, it's like that if you look at your uh, own hand, but it's also um, practical uh, each time you want to bend your fingers. If you want them to uh, roll up uh, correctly, it's it's better to have this one greater than this one, which is greater than this one. Okay. Um, you can see on some rigs, uh, like uh, in 3 ds Max and Blender, um, um, that they have a, a tip joint uh, each time they end uh, a hierarchy. So you can have one there, but you, you may find one, for instance, for the eye uh, there for the head there and it's it's useless to, to have this and, and until you want to really make use of this joint in animation uh, it's really really useless to have this joint uh, in the the end of your um, your skeleton okay just because this one uh, won't control any vertices so um, so it's useless to have some. I I place uh, them just in order to have a uh, easier um, uh, joint orient, but for nothing more, to be honest. Okay, so there I will just middle click on the wrist, so it will select all the the finger joints. I will orient them and. Then, since I've created uh, these temporary joints uh, at last, I can select the first one I've made, so for the sum, shift select the last one, and I'm sure I've got my five joints selected, and I delete them. So then I will just uh, need to match the same logic uh, I've had for the, um, the arm. So remember, the red axis is for the, the bend direction. Okay, green is for the positive axis and blue for the twist. So blue is often the good one and just need to uh, rotate around this. So just a quick word about the, the rigging, um, the orient I'm making. 
uh, of course you're, you're not forced to um, adjust them if you if you just want to go uh, straight to the animation mode you can it's just easier to animate um, if you've made a proper orient but it's not a technical issue if you didn't uh, place them and orient them correctly okay so once i've created all these joints i will need to um to create uh, to rename them so name this one clavicle underscore r i will control c the just the underscore r to rename them uh, faster so arm r uh, for arm r then it's the wrist um, so you can see uh, who's who so here you have the thumb the index the middle the ring and the pinky or the little it depends on how you you like to name them Just in case you didn't know, uh, this is the, the most difficult part of Revealing Nakitsu. It's just naming your joints. And I, I'm, I'm not even talking about uh, choosing the names, <laughs> it's just naming them, just typing the names, which is uh, really long and painful. So. Let's go for the foot uh, like this. Okay. Uh, leg should be fine. Maybe this one should go. Yep. Um, for the leg, um, you can actually decide if you want to um, animate this by hand or uh, maybe uh, physically. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how we will uh, rig this. So uh, there, I just want to orient the two first parts of my leg. Um, often the angle here is right uh, in terms of uh, algorithm, but the orient is uh, is not the one I want. Okay, I just want to bend the the, the leg in this direction and more like this yes okay um, and I will just reverse the angle so by doing this um, if I rotate my leg here and there um, this will compensate the rotation uh, automatically. Okay, but you're free to to bend them uh, the way you want to to use the angle you want. For instance, if I uh, right click on this, so I can't do this in the build pose, but 
uh, right clicking on the um, uh, rotate uh, part of the gizmo uh, will activate okay like this it will activate a uh, compensate mode uh, for every joint you, you pick so you can have on this and um, you can you may want to to just have uh, the, the the orient uh, the same in the same uh, logic for uh, oops for both parts of the leg okay just because it, it can be uh, it can be better just to be able to do this and in case you select both joint doing this or this just depends so let's just keep the, the joints uh, this way okay so it will yeah it will uh, allow more um, more movements uh, so here are just points uh, the um, z-axis roughly towards the the end of the ch of the shoes same for this joint and um, maybe place this there yeah okay so let's rename those so here is the side L um, calf L the uncurl L and the ball L fine um, Okay. Um, so now uh, I will just take the ball joint here. Well, no, just leave it this way. Um, so maybe, maybe just start the rig um, like this. Or. Maybe I could I could add more joints. I'll refine this. Let's assume the the belt will be more on the stomach like so. Just um, editing a few joint, few joint placement. Okay, okay. This should be fine. Um, this one is reversed, like so. Okay. So. Uh, now I can just add joints from uh, this one to the belt stuff. So I'm gonna click there, um, or maybe yeah, maybe just like that. So I will just look at my model from uh, this point of view, so the joint can be placed at the center of the geometry so since there are no geometry uh, okay um, behind this it won't mess up with the position and I'm creating I know I'm creating the joints uh, uh, one uh, next to the other so but it, it will be fine we'll see okay um, and I will create one for this part. Just thinking on how I will move this. Maybe just in rotate mode. Well, 
this one should should be placed here at the same position as the, the thigh. So what I can do if I make if I want to make a joint start from this point, I can just duplicate the hierarchy from the thigh, the thigh gen then just uh, delete this and bind this to the the, the thigh. So parent this to the thigh. Sorry. So I just need to drag and drop this joint to the into the thigh, and I uh, I'm okay. And I will name it. Um, Side belt. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and this one will serve just to rotate this uh, little belt here. Okay. So um, now I want to just uh, reparent this joint and this joint, this joint, this joint, this joint, this joint, this joint these uh, six joints to the um, uh, stomach. Uh, joint. So what I will need to do is just right click on this, so it will select every uh, belt stuff joints. Then I will uh, control click on the stomach joint and just hit the parent uh, button. What does this button uh, look for is um, any selection of joints plus the last selected joint, and the last selected will be the parent of uh, all other joints. So this makes the parenting much easier to do. And then I will just need to reorient uh, this joint. So what I could do is uh, maybe uh, maybe just insert a joint here and place this approximately where I want to pivot uh, this object and do the same for each joint. Okay, so it's really, really, really uh, rough, of course. Okay, then um, I will need to select these guys. Okay. Uh, oh no. So these guys, then reorient uh, them. So they will just point to uh, the direction of these joints, and then I would simply need to delete this. So I've got approximately the orient uh, I need. Okay, so just fine tune them uh, so they match perfectly your object uh, orient, but it's almost there. Since we've made a proper placement, okay. So this one is a bit uh, off, I think. Mm. Yeah. Again, just keep the red axis like so in the bend direction. Okay. So now uh, I will need just to rename uh, my joints. So let's say um, belt push one, belt push two. Um, this will be really, really, really stupid. Uh, push three, four, five. And this one will be the um, belt lock. 
Okay, so now uh, I've got all my joints uh, created. Well, most of my joints. Um, what I will need to do is uh, decide which one I want to bind to the character um, uh, at first, using the default alg algorithm of Akitsu to, to do this action. So I will right click on the pelvis first, and then I will unselect this joint. So just because I want to have a clean um, skinning by default on the spine uh, part of my character. Okay, so I don't want the backpack as well, I don't want the eye, I don't want the jaw, I don't want the headset, I just want really uh, the, the basic joints. Okay, so same for this one. Um, and this should be pretty fine. So then I will just need to select, so uh, maintain control and then select the mesh here. Go to the paint and check mode and uh, click on that button. But before doing so, just be sure you are not in joint proximity but in geodesic voxel. This will allow for a much more precise uh, skinning by default. Okay, and then hit the bind button. Okay, so now when I click on my character, I can see that the skin has been uh, generated. Okay. And then for some uh, examples like uh, this part of the, the fingers, maybe I, I don't want to have um, <laughs> uh, over smooth uh, areas like so. Uh, in Akitsu, the skinning works in two steps. So you have the first step here, which is uh, perfectly rigid, and then the second step here, which is uh, smooth. And the smoothing uh, step rely on uh, what you've set up in uh, the picker um, area. So when you select one joint, uh, you can decide how it smooths this joint. Okay. So if I make a selection, I can decide how uh, this selection will smooth out. And then you can um, change the smooth uh, influence and uh, perform again the auto smooth algorithm. So then it should smooth uh, less. Okay. And uh, once you are in this uh, part of the skinning, you can decide to adjust uh, your skinning. Like for instance, um, I want to refine this. Like so. Okay. Then I want to refine this. So um, using the add or remove brush, you can add weights by uh, using the left click and uh, remove weights with the right click. So simply go uh, on the joint you want to edit, the influence, using the up and down arrow keys, and uh, simply use the left or uh, right click, and that's it. Um, you can decide also to ignore uh, the uh, back face, back faces of your mesh if you want to be more precise. And uh, you can use the spinner to test uh, your joints. Okay. Use the X uh, shortcut to uh, reset a joint. Okay, like this. So I will just uh, edit the skinning uh, like so. If you want to hide the skeleton, you can uh, use the four uh, key frame, uh, uh, key nun, uh, la, the, num key, the numpad uh, four key stroke. Sorry for the mess. Um, this will simply hide uh, the skeleton, so it's much easier to see your influences.
like this. And uh, when you you bend some uh, joints, if you want to smooth uh, this, you can use the smooth brush, obviously. And always um, keep in mind that the smoothing rely not only on one joint. It's al it's always two joints that share uh, influences. So if you if you don't go through uh, both joints, you can't expect to have a, a good smooth. Okay, so now I will just shake my uh, arm, forearm, sorry. So just bend this, and there you can see that uh, some parts just doesn't follow what I would need. So first of all, uh, let's just break this. Okay, and uh, then I will need to um, to isolate uh, these vertices. So. I've got some uh, different ways to proceed. So I can either uh, select one vertex uh, here, then hit um, uh, the star or multiply key uh, on the numpad to extend this selection to the wall arm. Then I can um, I can do a few things. I can uh, invert the selection. So when I will paint, it will only paint on the selected vertices. So I won't affect uh, my arm. I can also uh, also uh, choose to isolate, isolate um, my arm part just by clicking on the, the hide vertices. So I can uh, view clearly uh, how this works. Um, and. Um, Oh yeah, maybe there I will need to just paint this out. So when I will bend the the wrist, it will be okay. Fine, and uh, yeah, just take a look at this. Yeah, cool. So there, it bends uh, more accurately. Okay, I can uh, revert this. 
And now I will check this part, which often fail because of this. So what I can do is simply remove this, this is, and hope it will go on the, the good um, part of the skeleton. So I'm gonna double check uh, just to see who got this, and it's fine, it goes on this one, so it's exactly what I wanted, so it's fine. So they are just smooth out the influences, so it goes a bit better in terms of um, the air of the influences. Okay. And then I go on this one and smooth out too. Okay. So I got a good influences here. Um, for this part, I will need to have a better, um, a better bend. So since it's meant to be a solid part, it's better to um, uh, to skin this entirely on the the, the, the arm. Okay. So you can display vertices uh, as well if you want to be sure that you you're skinning the, the good parts of your model. And this should be, this should be fine. Um, I don't want this to be affected at all. Okay. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, okay, okay. So here I've got my clavicle, which me, um, will just allow me to do this. And I can see that uh, this joint has some weird uh, influences at some points. Like this is not good. Just need to remove them and uh, maybe smooth out this part. Yeah, so it should look better. Maybe not this one. Um, okay. If I want, I can also uh, just select vertices with the brush and um, manually edit the, the weights of these vertices. Okay, so since I want them to be uh, attached to the to the spine, to the yeah to the spine, I can decide like this precisely how I want them to follow the, the spine. And it act it's actually pretty important if you want to maintain uh, a good uh, edge flow. Okay. And you can also uh, choose to hit that button, which will uh, try to fix uh, the vertices' weights based on what you have uh, just around. So 
but always remember to take only um, edge loops because this button will uh, work uh, like it, it will look to the vertices nearby and if you take a group of vertices uh, you will prevent uh, the tool to to take the good look uh, around the, the vertices so you'll have just um, block vertices and it's, it's not good so just get lines and it should be should be cool So now um, I will I will need to check okay how the the leg looks like and looks like first of all um, I have some uh, strange vertices here uh, I don't want them so just remove this and uh, I have also some curious stuff here so um, yes um, then I will need to assign this as well. Okay. And um, you may notice that I have got some problem here with uh, this hole. So the best thing I could do uh, could be to just uh, assign uh, the vertices from uh, the, um, the lowest part of the, the leg here like this and then just smooth out um, the other vertices and to do so uh, I will just right click on the calf joint in the skin atelier select influenced uh, vertices so it will select everyone uh, but those I want to smooth then I will simply invert my selection and I will start smoothing. So this way it will allow me to, to really uh, control uh, which vertices will be smoothed. Okay, and it, I can keep this uh, big uh, pants uh, feeling like this. Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's smooth out this as well. part of the leg is fine so I'm just selecting a few vertices I hit the uh, star key and I just remove weights when I don't need them okay uh, and this part of the foot so just let's get back like so on this part of the foot uh, I will need to isolate um, this so when I would bend uh, the foot it would, uh, it would bend correctly and uh, then do the same for the, the foot actually and I will see if I, uh, if I smooth uh, if I want to smooth this or not okay 
So uh, from this point, um, <laughs> um, I will need to attach a few parts of my character uh, to desired uh, joints. So I've got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, the belt joints, remember. So just shift select one vertex or more and hit the star key and then change this to one. Click and drag up to add your weight and it should be okay. And to be sure I won't miss any part of the, uh, the mesh, I will just bring this uh, forward. Okay, and let's do the same for this joint. Okay, so when I will attach vertices to this, it will fall. It's as simple as that. So the, the paint and check uh, mod make it easy really to, to, to check out your how your joints uh, control your vertices. So you can really mess up with uh, your character. You can dislocate this uh, this guy and just just see uh, how it reacts. If it's fine, then you are you're good to you're good to go. And that's it. Um, no, 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 no. I will just uh, place them back on my character um, so there i will need to um, <coughs> uh, take this part of the mesh so let's just take it like so and uh, i i want to um, to steal uh, these uh, influences and gi and give them to uh, this joint you, you remember the, the, the belt, the tie belt one. So, and I don't want also to uh, lose this transition from the belt to the side just because it's well attached like this. And I don't, I don't want to mess up with this. So what I need to do is uh, select first the thigh, then shift select the vertices of my um, uh, mesh element. Then I will need to uh, select the joint I want to give the weight to. And here I will lock weights I don't want to touch at all. So just keep in mind, I want to steal uh, weights from who. So this guy should be the only one uh, unlocked. And then I will just uh, add weights. So I'm in the joint I want to add weights on. and. You can see that if I click on this just by adding weights, I'm stealing the weights from and only from the thigh. Okay, so this will only react to this joint. And since this joint is parented to this joint, when I will move my uh, leg, it will bring this joint with him and I will be able to um, adjust this uh, element of my character um, depending on my animation positions. Okay, this is a trick that, that's pretty helpful um, in many situations when you skin your character. So not just for this one, of course. And I, I hope it will uh, help you at some point. So now I want to uh, skin the, ch the, the shield. So chook, shift select, shift select, and just add weight to this guy. And just to be sure, I just move this out and it's fine. Okay. Um, then double check the, the neck, which can go pretty nuts sometimes the head, so the head joints is not, not exactly how I wanted to have it. So let's just do this. OK. 
okay and try to rotate the head so it's pretty well okay um, I'm gonna just isolate the character part and the character head so select one vertex of the head extend it to the whole uh, character with the star uh, numpad uh, key then hit the divide key and hide everything so we will just be focus on the on the head okay and i will just need to uh, skin one part of the the character just because um, make it so you you can uh, you can mirror everything uh, later okay and i will show you that uh, after so uh, hit e just to change this part okay so uh, now uh, what i need to do is uh, since my uh, skinning should be pretty fine well on most parts um, I will need to, de to do a uh, first thing so duplicate this guy okay the uh, ball underscore L uh, you will rename it in um, uh, tiptoe underscore L and the ball L underscore the, uh, zero 02 you can rename it to ball L so this joint will hold the reverse foot function that we will add, uh, add uh, really soon. And this one here will um, allow you to uh, affect the tiptoe part of your uh, skeleton. Because Akitsu does not allow yet uh, to uh, bend the tiptoe uh, joint if it's part of the reverse foot but if it's after the reverse foot it's, it's okay so then you just need to parent the tiptoe to the ball and you're good to go with the controllers so um i can create my controller yet like uh, i need to select the ball and the tie then go into the bind pose and hit the reverse foot uh, button then i just need to adjust these little t uh, objects to the limits of my soul like so and I'm done with the, the reverse foot okay um, I may need to do a IK control as well for the arm so we'll select this part and then the wrist part go in bind pose and hit ik function and i will disable the pivot mode uh, pivot and joint and everything you want to display can be changed here in the little drop down uh, menu uh, in the um, the bottom left part of, the, of your screen so if you want to have uh, only the joint displayed, you can uh, hit the second button here, which is really useful, um, but we will see this later, maybe. Um, so, and uh, anyway, I, I, sp I spoke about it in uh, a few videos about uh, facial rig uh, tips uh, on May when or May then. Maybe uh, I did this for both, so. Um, here, once my uh, control is okay, um, I will mirror my skeleton. And before doing this, um, I'll just be sure, just ensure uh, my root is not controlling any vertex. So just instead of doing this, select the root, right click there, and select influenced vertices and. If you don't see, um, OK, 
okay, if I can paint, it, it's because no vertex is selected, so the root controls no vertex and it's, it's perfect. I don't want this to control any vertex. And that's because at first I have told you to right click on the pelvis. It's because uh, by doing this, I, I simply um, masked the root by default. So it's good. Um, so let's mirror the, the, the rig. So you've got two options to do this. Uh, you can select using right click um, the part you want to mirror and then click on this uh, mirror button in the skin atelier and it will mirror only the selected joints, which can be good, but uh, you may want to uh, mirror everything at once. So just uh, don't select any joint and hit the mirror button. But, but, also, you may want to uh, isolate some parts of your skeleton just to avoid having uh, such results. So to do this, select the joints where the skinning is super fine for you. So I'm gonna select this one, this one, and that's it. Then um, maybe this one too, just because I want to have the same um, here. Okay, and then I will right click on uh, one of the joints here and select vertices influenced by all selected joints. So it, this will isolate these vertices. I can invert my selection. So when I will mirror uh, all my uh, controls, it won't take uh, account of these vertices. So this will be uh, left untouched. And it's, it's exactly what I want. Okay. Um, so this guy here is mm, kind of messed up. So um, what do we need to do by checking this uh, is, uh, yeah. So when I click on any joint in the, in the skin uh, atelier, I can see if uh, this joint controls actually uh, this part of the chain. Um, if I go on the other part of my uh, character, I can see that this joint does not control any vertex of this uh, belt. So. Uh, what I'll need to do here is, um, from this vertex uh, selection, is to uh, remove um, the psi r uh, weights. Okay, so I'm just gonna click there, hit zero, and it will zero all the weights from the, the psi r. So now this joint controls uh, perfectly this uh, belt, like expected. But I've got some issues like this, uh, for example. So I can select this vertex and simply raise down the uh, influences, and I'm fine. Um, I'm gonna double check these parts are fine too, okay. Um, so if I want to mirror um, the head uh, skinning, Maybe it's already mirrored, probably. So I can just select the vertices from my head so I won't touch anything else. Then I will select the head joint plus um, any joint from the side I want to copy the weight from, okay? So the source weights. So let's say uh, you, I want to keep this, but not this. So I, I think the left side is okay. So I select the head plus any joint from the left side and hit the mirror button. And it should mirror um, the skinning of the head. So here I can see that it did not mirror uh, this part to this part, but it's just because the head is not perfectly symmetrical. Uh, so I need to uh, edit this uh, by hand. So I invert my selection, hide vertices, and I will just go with the paint brush without uh, the paint through mode activated and just fine tune this like so. Okay. Then 
them just maybe just smooth out this okay okay um, and I will ensure that the this verti vertices line here really belongs to the neck unless I will have um, some weird vertices distortion so I really want to ensure this is uh, well made okay um, then uh, uh, I will just create the jaw uh, part so um, as I did for the leg uh, little belt, I will select the head uh, joint, then right click on this, select influences vertices, click on the jaw joint, and then uh, just lock the torso, the neck joint, so I will just seal uh, well, weights from the head. Okay, so there. Uh, just rotate a little bit the draw so you will see the results and I will um, paint this roughly like this okay and um, if I want to mirror uh, these controls uh, to the other part of my uh, head let's just um, same more weights uh, like this just to be sure I'm not going too far yeah this should be fine uh, so if I want to mirror this to the other part I like for the, the head uh, before I select the jaw then any join from the left side and hit mirror and it mirror the, the controls okay so we don't need to uh, mirror everything Okay, so it's pretty rough, of course. So now um, I want to uh, just smooth out uh, this part. So I'm gonna right click there and um, select influence the vertices. So I'm just on my jaw. And first of all, I'm gonna add joints, but really slightly gently there okay just to uh, progressively assign my weights from the head to the jaw okay and here the goal will be to, to maintain good uh, edge loops Do the same so but for the head here. So let's crank up the value a little bit more. this happens well um, then I will need to uh, fix this too
Okay, and ide ideally it should um, it should bend pr it should uh, extend proportionally. So okay, so you can see that a few joints are missed up here. Okay. So now um, I can select all vertices from my head. And from there, we are everything, and it's, it's quite better. Okay. And of course, you can still keep going and, uh, you know, the influence sharing. So like, uh, for instance, the head should control a bit more uh, your joints here. time I want to mirror from the right side to the left side so just maybe um, a few weights here just to keep a good curvature okay so let's select the head and uh, any R joint, and then we are this quite better. Okay, so now uh, I can show every vertices, and um, I'm gonna add a few uh, more um, vertices to uh, the draw. So, oops, sorry, uh, here, and maybe the tongue uh, as well. And of course, if you want to be uh, more uh, precise, uh, you can, uh, and you, you want to get rid of the head because it annoys you, you can select the head and uh, hide it, like so. Um, I can um, also skin uh, my uh, A joints, like the AR here, then uh, select vertices of the AR and mirror my skinning. So, okay, both eyes are, uh, are fine. Um, so, so here it's just a really basic. Um, Radiant skin of the of the character. Of course, if you want to go uh, deeper into uh, face rig, you can you can have more joints for the lips, for the, the head, for anything you want. But there you have a good way to start. And always remember to steal uh, joints, uh, to steal influences from um, a bigger influence. Okay. Uh, so here, if I were to uh, skin the uh, lips of my character uh, to um, uh, finer joints, what would be cool to do uh, would be to, um, to place joints first, of course, on the lips, and then to uh, lock, like I did, um, so select the vertices first of the jaw, because you have half of your uh, lips um, in here, then lock the head and the neck, and then you will be able to uh, add joints influences properly um, from the, the bottom um, lips and the head, and then do the same from the head to the bottom lips. 
and go like this and it should be fine okay uh, so and I guess it's pretty pretty much it um, I'm gonna just uh, isolate the, the headset here so I want to control the headset with one joint of course you can you can have more than one joint and the CBLAST file uh, which is rigged you have joints to control uh, a lot more than just the, the headset itself so you can control the, the you know the, the little panels the little uh, mic microphone uh, so so i've moved the joint here just to see if i didn't uh, miss any parts of the mesh and that's the case so i can do like this um since Akitsu can uh, easily uh, help you to uh, move out your uh, joints and test uh, if everything works well, um, it means that you're, you're not forced to have uh, any parts separated uh, to, to get the job done uh, perfectly. Um, so here I, I've just separated the hoverboard uh, from the, the, the main uh, character mesh just for um, easier uh, show hide uh, two girls in a normal set to back but that's just for it um, unless i i would have had uh, the, the hoverboard to the character and I, I wouldn't have any problem to rig and skin this uh, and by the way just uh, skin this guy to a another joint so once you've made your uh, your skeleton, you're not forced to just uh, stay with it. You can uh, add more joints to your skeleton if you want. So here, for example, I need uh, one more joint from the root uh, in order to control my board. So I'm gonna just pick the root and just create one joint. Okay, so at the same position uh, from the root and just name it board. Then go in paint and check board, select the hoverboard plus the board joint and hit that button. So just go in joint proximity to be much faster. And that's it. Your board is okay. Uh, and then you can, if you want to get rid of this, you can scale this down and, and that's it, the board doesn't bother you. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So now I just need to create a few more controllers. Uh, so I'm going to select the ball joint and the side joint. R, create my reverse foot here, then um, let's hide this just to have a helpful uh, helpful view. Okay, and then so I can still click on my mesh to select joints. Okay, and it will uh, select it depending on the skinning uh, data it has. And from there, um, okay, arm wrist, I can create a IK like so. Uh, the IK controllers may be too big uh, on this character, so I may want to scale this down uh, here in the property panel. Um, you can do the same for the reverse foot if you want. And uh, that's it. So here you've got a uh, fully rigged character from uh, scratch. So, sorry. Okay. And um, you can start animating if you want. Uh, before uh, diving in animation, um, what could be good to do uh, is to uh, reorganize well your, uh, your picker panel. 
here. Since you can move with up and down arrow keys, it's a good thing to have a proper uh, um, uh, kind of uh, order into your um, your picker list. So first of all, I'm gonna edit uh, this. Okay. So when you go with the uh, up arrow key, you will go down to the root, and it's pretty stupid. So the first thing you, you, you need to do is uh, revert the order of this joint. So from the pelvis to the head, you will just revert this. So place the head on top of the key, on the, the neck, sorry, which is on top of the torso, which is on top of the spine, which is on top of the stomach, which is on top of the pelvis. And then when you move with up and down arrow keys, it's much more natural and you will um, pass through uh, your character. If you've got a few joints like here um, in your uh, facial rig, you can put the jaw above the head. Okay. But you may want to have this um, near your uh, eyes. Okay. And near uh, headset and that kind of stuff. Maybe the headset could be good above the head. Yeah. So. Here I go to have the jaw and I want to have the IR2. So you can select multiple uh, joints across your picker and then move one of them in the list and it will group up like the preview where you uh, drop them like this. So it's easier if you want, for instance, to reorganize um, the first joint of your fingers you can do this and it's easier than to select just the, the main uh, joint for each finger and just pause rapidly your uh, hands and do like a spider uh, move of course You can copy past also any joint chain chain to any other joint chain in case you want to have quicker posings. And if you want to have this on the other side, that's fine. Just right click anywhere, like the on the wrist or forearm for example, and mirror the transform here. Not the skin, just the transforms. Okay, and you have two cool spider hands. Um, okay, so just about the, the order, um, I also like to have um, the both arms close. Okay, so when I pass through my, my character, I can go uh, through, through my arms. Um, then uh, I'm going to do the same for the legs, do this and this. Uh, since I can't move the ball joint here because it belongs to the reverse foot, I'm going to select both, so ball R, ball R, and bring them down to the list. Um, I'm going to do the same for the IK and reverse foot controls. And then uh, each joint that um, pretty not useless but really uh, temporary, uh, I like to have them uh, in the end of the uh, in the end of the, the list. Okay. Um, this uh, I can put the, the thigh belt up. Okay, so when I click on the side and I hit on the, the up arrow uh, key, I can go to this joint easy. 
Or you can simply click on it, of course. So do the same for this one. Okay, um, and I guess that's it. So now if you want to start a new animation, you can go there, click on this button, let's call this walk for example, and you can start creating your first uh, your first walk with your first keyframes and all this super cool stuff. So I will stop there, but you've got the you've got the flow, I guess. Um, so now you can you can read any character you want. Um, if if you if you get uh, how this works, uh, how these few uh, things work, you can take anything and and read it yourself, and it should be fine. Um, okay. So I hope this helped you and um, feel free to tell me uh, if you need another kind of tutorial and uh, um, on Akitsu or uh, whatever else, but I would be really, really pleased to, to do some more on Akitsu. Um, so have a good day and, uh, and see you later guys.